Well, it's that time of year again. It's time for the uh, windows, Christmas windows in the generic department store in, here in Melbourne. I'm not going to say the name of that department store because they didn't give me money. Anyway, um, this year, uh, well, normally what I normally do is uh, I usually take the visuals from the Christmas windows and uh, and I make up some sort of crazy story um, that involves something untoward. But I can't do that this year because everybody knows the story of Alice in Wonderland. Anyway, so so I'm just going to try to stick to the story this time, OK? It's it's uh, written by a man called Lewis Carroll, whose real name was uh, Charles Ludwich Lud Dodson. Um, apparently he was um, some sort of uh, really a big mathematician and uh, deacon um, from the uh, 19th century. He used to um, he, he used to tell these stories to uh, young girls, and he used to photograph them too. And no, no, we don't talk about that. Okay. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? To her tears, Alice spotted a very small cake in a glass box. Without a second thought, he took a bite and shot up in an instant. Well, Alice was as tall as the hall was high. How curious, said Alice. Alice hurried off and soon she stumbled upon a neat house. A brass plate on the door was engraved W Rabbit. Wandering through, Alice spotted a little bottle. She put it to her lips and drank. Oh, how I hope it will make me grow tall again. And she did. Alice grew so much that she had to poke one arm out the window and push her foot up the chimney. So drinking the small bottle of strange water also made her a big girl. Advice from the caterpillar. Who are you, said the caterpillar. Well, I hardly know, sir, said Alice. It's a rather confusing to be so many sizes in a day. What size do you want to be, he said. I should be happier to be a little taller, said Alice. A nipple from this side will make you taller, and a nipple from that side will make you smaller, advised the caterpillar. Of the mushroom, wondered Alice, but she was already eating a bit. Her chin struck her foot in an instant, and she quickly took a bite from the other side. I, I'm not going to say anything about that visual at all. It's very, very self-explanatory, and I don't, don't really want to say anything about that visual at all. Let's go on to the next panel, shall we? Mad Tea Party. A chattering cat with a huge grin stared at Alice. Oh, Cheshire Puss, tell me, please, where am I to go from here? Well, stated the cat... To the right lives a hatter, and to the left lives a march hare. The hare and the hatter were together. They were having tea and talking riddles with a dormouse, somewhat asleep, listening on. Alice sighed. What nonsense, it's a stupid party that I have ever been to. You play croquet, said the Queen. Yes, shouted back Alice. Come on then, let's play, rolled the Queen. It was a very curious game of croquet. The hedgehogs were croquet balls and live flamingos for mallets. And everybody played at once. It was very confusing. Still, Alice gave it a go, tucking her flamingo under her arm. So it's degenerated into a free-for-all at the croquet ground with hedgehogs. Um, there's somebody behind me. Keep on doing that. So... I just want to tell you, God, so it's, yeah, right. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. Oh. 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 So what was I saying after I was interrupted with the real and actual meaning of Christmas sort of kind of? Anyway, um, I've been through the uh, flamingos and the, and, the, and the hedgehogs and the croquet. Now we're going on to the rapturous conclusion. The king and queen of hearts stood tall on the thrones. Silence in the court announced White Rabbit. The queen had made jam tarts and somebody had taken them. As the witnesses were called, one after the other, Alice felt a curious sensation. She was growing again taller and taller. This is all nonsense, she said, 
seriously? You're nothing but a pack of cards. Well, of course, I think bits are missing out of that story, but I think you've gotten the gist of what Lewis Carroll had to say. Well, instead of uh, doing the uh, traditional Christmas thing and ignoring the vital glass window, this time I'm actually going to cover it and give my uh, regular commentary on it. Well, as you can see, uh, that is that is some kind of baby Jesus, and that's and that's Mary, and that's not the actual father, because God is or something. And uh, well, I know how gods behave, you know, Zeus, um, and they usually, you know, take the form of a cow, and yeah, you know, um, this is awkward. This is awkward, because. Um, because that isn't the father, and, um, yeah. Okay, this is not a very good place to end it on.